Hi, I'm Simon Conway, and in this video I'm going to talk to you about journey management. This is a game-changing approach that's poised to revolutionise how businesses approach digital innovation, much like Agile did in the last decade. Every few years something comes along that makes me re-evaluate my entire approach. A great example for me is Sketch and Figma. When I first used Sketch, it blew my mind. Sketch was the first product-orientated visual designer and it was a step change for designers creating apps. I was a passionate advocate for Sketch for several years, like a raving fan, a full 10 out of 10 on MPS. And then I used Figma and it was like an epiphany. Suddenly I could see there was clearly a better way. Features like embedded prototyping, real-time collaboration and community created a step change in product design. Figma has spread across the product design world like wildfire, spreading their mission to make design accessible to everyone with a $20 billion takeover by Adobe in the works. Right now, journey management is poised to do for digital transformation what Figma has done for design. Over the past 20 years, I've had a varied career covering agile, product delivery and strategy, customer experience, as well as digital transformation to bring all these disciplines together. Journey management brings alignment across each of these disciplines, and this alignment accelerates innovation. I had my journey management aha moment earlier this year when I discovered They Do. For me, this was a Figma moment. They Do is a platform that seamlessly brings together the building blocks of innovation across the entire product lifecycle. Imagine my delight to find an app that brings together all the frameworks that I've been helping businesses to implement. Here's how it works. I have three mental models to bring this to life for you. The first is the triple diamond. The double diamond is the bedrock of design thinking. It's a proven framework to walk in the customer's shoes and discover solutions that improve the customer experience and drive business value. But there's a big issue with the double diamond, which is that it stops at prototyping. And this is handed off to agile teams for delivery. The discovery and delivery processes effectively work from different sets of data. Delivery data is hosted in JIRA or other agile and road mapping tools, which are administered by the agile teams. Customer experience data is hosted all over the place. Data is in Figma, Miro, Dovetail, Excel, Pitch Decks, Docs. It's littered around the company. In short, it's a mess. Several times I've been weeks into a project when I find a hidden pitch deck that gives me the answers to my innovation problem. It's standard practice for different teams to host, host very similar CX data in different apps. For example, marketing customer insight data is often completely siloed from product customer insight. I've actually worked in companies where product teams are literally not allowed to see the marketing insight data. This siloing of information causes pain. The day-to-day -day work of product people is the Sisyphean task of pulling all these data sources together and creating a compelling story to link customer experience to business value. But in a large company, there's so much data in so many places, it's tough. Managing this siloed data makes up a large part of product work in 2023, especially in large corporations where decisions require alignment across many teams and stakeholders. It's a central reason that product managers feel unempowered in these businesses. The Triple Diamond fixes this by providing a complete view across the entire product lifecycle with, it, with a single source of truth for all teams to work to. This removes the silos between these teams and allows teams to leverage each other's work. The second mental model is building blocks for innovation, which you can see here. These are all the key data points needed to track and record information across the entire Triple Diamond. Each are owned and created by different teams but these building blocks are useful to everyone and they should be accessible to the entire business. Journey management makes this possible. We can place these building blocks onto journey maps. This is much like traditional journey mapping with post-it notes on a map. But the important point about journey management is that these building blocks are stored in repositories. So we can see them on the journey maps, but we can also see them in a list and we can sort, search, filter and tag these building blocks. We can create a graph to show how this information links together. This opens a host of opportunities to leverage the data across teams and at different levels of granularity to suit many purposes. The final mental model is the journey framework, 
This allows us to nest the journeys at different levels. From the top lifecycle level, which maps the whole customer lifetime of journeys on a single page, to micro journeys where each service step is a job to be done that achieves a goal for the customer, to micro journeys which are smaller steps required to make progress to a goal, and then process or technical journeys which are digitally enabled user journeys backed by technology, like filling in a form or using web chat to get an answer to a question. Here's an example. A bank has a host of services for customers. One of these is securing a mortgage for a house. This basically allows people to find their home. In terms of life impact, it's hugely important. This is a step in the bank's customer life cycle, and it lives at this top level alongside opening a bank account, getting life insurance, and investing savings. An example macro journey is securing a mortgage in principle. For a customer, this is an important job to complete. It's a big relief to complete this step because you know exactly which houses you're able to afford and you can target your home search. An example micro journey is providing proof of income, collecting proof of your earnings over several years. This is quite a large task and most of this is completed outside of the bank's systems. And an example of a process step is sending these documents to the bank. This is actually backed up by systems in the bank's control. This could be a, a website upload or email or even by post. And there'll be processes and systems for the customer and the bank. This example gives us a picture of a thin slice down the journey framework. A journey framework allows us to map an entire organization from top level to technical detail. And we can zoom in and out to the level that matches our context. Let's return to the building blocks for a moment. When we overlay these onto journeys across the entire journey framework, the ability to search, sort and filter provides us with a view of innovation at all levels. Most importantly, teams can quickly come together around this data and make decision, decisions at each level that empower innovation. The efficiency savings are huge. Companies applying this are seeing a 10 times increase in productivity. And the outcomes are profound. For innovation teams, service designers and researchers can finally leverage their customer insights because this data is now accessible, it's usable, it's searchable by the business. Product managers make huge time savings and tell better stories because all their data to link customer experience to business value is in one place and it's up to date. And for developers, this brings purpose because they can see how their work, along with the work of other development teams, will drive customer success and business value. For leadership, there are huge time savings and productivity gains. This applies beyond innovation teams because sales, marketing, customer success and operations can all collaborate around this data too. For the first time, leaders have a real-time view of innovation across the business with the ability to track business impact over time. And by linking work directly to the customer experience, this embeds a customer-first mindset across the business. That's my short intro into journey management. I'd love to know if this looks like a Figma moment to anyone else watching this. Please do connect on LinkedIn and share your thoughts on this post.